Okay, round two has started. Actually playing against a friend this time, Florian Koch, aka Odin FK. We won the die roll. Have a nice hand that we are certainly going to keep. And lead with a noble hack. Temple Garden, Noble Herak. Could be a lot, but considering the fact that I know him and that he is German, the most likely of the Zero Vision decks would be some kind of twin variant. Either red green or blue red tempo twin. A uh, blue red green or blue red tempo twin would be my prediction. So now he is very unlikely Storm, so he is most likely either Delver or a Twin variant. Still settling with most likely Twin, probably Digman's most recent list, since those two are probably in touch with each other. With each other. Though the Mutter Vault Sets me off a bit here. Could actually mean that he is blue, white, red, a uh, blue, red Delver there. We'll find out soon, I guess. I think I'm just going to try and resolve the voice here. Yep, twin as I said. <laughs> Though interesting that he's running Mutavolt. He's complaining about me always playing some kind of aggro pile, but it's not even really the case here. It's much more of a mid-range deck than, a, than some kind of aggro pile. And to be fair, I rarely ever play some kind of aggro pile. Most of the time I'm playing like some aggressively stanced mid-range deck or aggro control. Oh, okay, he's three color twin. It's interesting. There were like lists back when um, pure combo twin was the way to go, that people splash black for some protection, but that seems more like a tempo twin splashing black. For more disruption, mostly because of the Muta Vault and the current twin trend. Muta Vault would, would make no sense in a combo, a combo heavy build. I think I'm actually, I think, 7, 10. Yeah, I think I'm not. Going to 
use Elspet here because it's not lethal and I rather keep scavenging who's open. So, pass the turn, and soon he's gonna succumb to my aggro pile. That's not actually an aggro pile. But no biggie here. There was, I guess, more some kind of friendly banter since. We know each other fairly well and even have him on my buddy list as you can see. And we get along quite well, so no harm, no fall there. Just some teasing. And probably some frustration because he's getting crushed. Hmm. Gonna try unified world here. Domri is not that great. And I think shaving a pass is actually fine since they usually at most run like three Exarchs. And you don't really want to give them extra mana to work with unless you have to. And you are in less of a rush against those twin lists to actually get rid of their stuff because they are less combo oriented in general. I was uh, thinking whether I want to go first with one of the green white lands so I can go voice on turn 2. But I decided on going turn 1, um, tap steam bands end of turn into Horizon Canopy Tamagoy. Which might not happen after all now. So I might have to reconsider my fetch either into a stomping ground or just delay my play. Now that he took the voice anyway, I can safely just fetch the steam winds. Now we'll find out if he's playing Steam Vents, which I. Uh, Spell Snare, not Steam Vents. And he's not. Even less likely that he's playing Spell Snare when he has Splashing Black for this card. But that was like the one card that I didn't want to see there off of a blue. And he didn't have it, so it's all good. Okay. Well, I think it's just gonna be Hierarch backed up by Unified Will. Now he's probably gonna try to tap at Harmonoid and run right into the Unified Will that he saw with the Inquisition. See another reason why that false pass isn't 
that necessary because sometimes you just get the exarch with unified will or in combat or with bench arm. Wait, what? Secluded Glen. Interesting. I see that's a really weird brew. It's kind of like Grix's twin fairies. Wonder if he's just trying to figure out if the deck's actually good or the deck. Oh, he knows the deck is good and that's why he's playing it. Going deep here. Something around it is lightning bolt, touch Yeah, it seems like he's more trying to figure the deck out and work on it from what he just said. So it's, he said it's all not quite working yet as intended. Which is what it looks like to me right now. Seems like he's trying to brew a very different take on on the whole tempo agro control twin thing. Looks like it could be interesting if he gets there. Okay, that's it. 1-1 one, one for now. See you in round 3.